Hey guys, welcome to 2025 and happy new year. Let's jumpstart the channel with a very simple Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to learn how you can bit sync your b-rolls automatically in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to automate the placement of b-rolls according to music bits. Let's jump in. So here I have opened Adobe Premiere Pro and I have downloaded some clips and a music to use for this tutorial. So click and drag those footages here so this is our music this is our footage before doing anything we need to make a new sequence go to the new items and from here sequence i'll just make a basic 1080p sequence so from the hd 1080p section i'll select hd 1080p 23.976 fps i'll just name it and then if i click on ok i can make a new sequence so first let's import our music here on the sequence go to the music folder and from there you can just click and drag the music on your timeline to import the music but it will import the whole music we don't want that we want to import a selection so double click the music and from the source section you can just play it back by pressing spacebar so i'll not use the first portion i'll just use it from here from this section so i'll just make an endpoint by pressing i on my keyboard and then i can use this much then press o on my keyboard and then i can just click and drag this audio icon on my sequence so here is my music on my sequence so let's make it a little bit bigger so that we can see the beat so if i play it back here is a beat here is a beat so we need to place our footages according to the beat you can manually click and drag and cut the footages and place it here but let's learn how you can do it automatically right so uh, to do that we need to first make some markers according to the beat to make any marker you can just deselect the clip and then if you press m on your keyboard you will see there is a marker here on the sequence if you select the clip and then press m it will add a marker on the audio track we don't want that we want to make marker on the sequence right so let's go to the beginning and then deselect the clip and press m on your keyboard to add a marker at the beginning then maybe go here you can add a marker here or you can add a marker here on this bit so go here and then press a mono keyboard it will add another marker so let's do it a little bit faster so i'll press spacebar on my keyboard and then while the music is playing i'll press m on my keyboard according to the beat to add some markers right so let's go to the beginning so when you click and drag this play it if on your computer the audio track is selecting automatically then you might need to disable auto clip selection from the sequence just deselect the selection follows playhead if i enable it while i am scrubbing on my sequence it will automatically select the audio track so for this section you need to disable the selection follows playhead just disable it go to the beginning and then deselect press spacebar and then press m So we have placed some markers here on our sequence right now we need to import the footages and place it according to the markers how you can do that get back to your footage folder here i have imported few uh, footages if you want you can directly import the footages but i will suggest you to select in point and out point so that you can use the usable part of your b-roll clips right some of the b-rolls may have unusable part at the beginning so you want to skip those part right so to do that first double click here and then you can just make an in point here you don't need to make any out point it will automatically trim out the excess part then select the next one then you can just select in point or you can just scrub it here maybe from here press i on your keyboard to make in point it will make in point here and then scrub and then maybe make in point here 
in point here or here and then maybe here now select the first one and then press shift on a keyboard and select the last one to select the clips now let's go to clip section but before doing that you need to place your playhead at the beginning of your sequence right if you place the playhead here the placement will start from there so to avoid that you need to place the playhead from where you want to start the placement i'll just place it here on the beginning select the first and then press shift and last go to clip and from there select automate to sequence here you see ordering from this ordering option select selection order if you have shorted the clips you can select the short order and from the placement section by default it will say sequentially so from here change it to at unnumbered markers that's it from here now you can just click on ok it will automatically place the videos here on the sequence according to the markers if i play it back you can see the clips are perfectly aligned with the beats so that's it that is how you can place the bureaus according to the music beats very easily in adobe premiere pro that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye